Take three. Earlier today, I recorded the final order cutoff video, and I forgot to tell everyone that we're giving a new deal in the shop here. A little, a little March magic, if you will. We will be doing, uh, we, we have bundled runs of books in the shop here, so if you like to get like a full set of books, you can see here we've got this Man of Steel, Superman, uh, numbers one through six it looks like. Um, you know, we're giving 20% off of all the bundles, the bundled runs we like to call them, in the shop here. So if that's something that interests you, for the full month of March, 20% off all of our bundled runs. We have quite a few of them there. It's uh, ready for you to peruse them. And feel free to come on down to 204 Comics. Happy Thursday, everybody. It's me, Bobby, from 204 Comics here. We gave Bob Hollywood the day off. Apparently he has some big uh, contracts to go sign, some negotiations, some deals uh, going on that he needed to uh, depart for. So it's just me today. I'm here with your final order cutoff video. To let you know what books you should add to your pull list this week, uh, mostly we focus on new series starting up, but uh, there's a few others in here that are worth mentioning. So, starting off, there are a few comics on March 29th that we need to add to our pull list if we'd like to get them. First thing I want to highlight is Radiant Black number 23. I actually looked in our subscriber database and saw that there's not a ton of subscribers on Radiant Black. I would say that if you're a fan of Invincible and or the Power Rangers, oddly enough, Radiant Black will feel like home to you. It is a fantastic series, uh, crazy art. I'm, I'm a huge fan of it. It's got a whole bunch of tie-in series. There's Radiant Red, Radiant Pink, all these other books. Uh, they're setting up a whole universe. I would even say that this is a good choice for speculators to get involved with because in my opinion, it's just a matter of time before we start seeing that series get optioned for TV shows or, or movies in the future. So, add it to your list. Next, from Image, we're going to focus on a title called The Ambassadors. Now, this is a book being written by Mark Millar. This is going to set up uh, the big game event that is happening across all the mark millar titles uh the miller world millar world i don't know how to say it he's scottish or something so i'm not sure on pronunciation but in any case the event is going to kick off this summer i believe it actually it started if i'm not mistaken with nemesis reloaded um and we have all the all the millar characters are showing up uh kick ass uh kingsman uh, Jupiter's Legacy characters are going to be in there as well. So there's a whole bunch going on with that book, and I think that's going to be a big deal this summer. So please feel free to add that to your polls. The Ambassadors, that is. that That's the title. Ambassadors number one. The last few books we'll talk about from March 29th there, there's one more from Image called Indigo Children that looks like it's going to be interesting. If you are not on... The series from Boom called Once Upon a Time at the End of the World. Highly recommended. Ash likes it. Ash's wife likes it. I own issue one, but haven't had a chance to read it yet. It is a book by Jason Aaron. And if you know Jason Aaron's resume, it speaks for itself. And it's worth checking out just on the name attached to it alone. The art's super cool, too. Really, not, really neat covers. From Dynamite, we have a series that seems to be, it's a one-shot, pardon me, that seems to be, I i believe these two characters are like golden age public domain superheroes. It's Rocket Man and Rocket Girl, number one, this book is called. Um, that is going to focus around these two superheroes trying to stop uh, Nazis in the 1940s New York from stealing rocket technology from the u.s government i suppose it seems like it'll be a fun one uh, that's coming from dynamite on march 29th as well moving forward to april 5th we have a few series here we've got uh, one that i know ashley's gonna love called codename rick flair number one so that book is going to imagine the wrestling superstar rick flair as an international super spy that utilizes his 
persona in wrestling as a cover for his secret operations, if you can believe that. From That's from Scout. Uh, from Vault Comics, we're getting a book called The Nasty Number 1. This one seems pretty cool. It's uh, giving me some Stranger Things kind of vibes from the solicit. It says that uh, it's, it's set in like the 90s in Scotland. It's about a kid that has an imaginary best friend who... Uh, has uh his best friend is like the slasher the main villain i guess of a slasher film and it's from his favorite horror movie things start changing though when he's he's like a big fan of horror movies he has this local rental store that he goes to and they get in all these banned vhs movies of of other horror slasher films and things start getting weird so That'll be a fun one to check out from Vault there. Moving on to Marvel. Again, these ones are on April 5th. There was only one new series starting up on the April 5th date there, and I believe that is Planet of the Apes number one. So if you're a big Planet of the Apes fan, congratulations. What most people are probably excited about here, the Timeless Alex Ross variants. We have five of them this week to make up for, I think there was only one last week. So we've got Wolverine number 32 which will feature the Rhino on the cover. Scarlet Witch number four will feature Magneto on the cover. Captain America, Sentinel of Liberty number 11 will focus Modoc on the cover, and he will not look silly like he did in Ant-Man, if you've seen that. Venom number 18 will focus on the Lizard on that Alex Ross Timeless variant cover. His eye looks a little bit strange to me on this one, but... Cool, cool stuff nonetheless. And finally, Amazing Spider-Man number 23 has my favorite, uh, which is Mysterio on that cover. The last comic on FOC this week to talk about is set for April 12th release. It's coming from IDW. Uh, sorry, IDW. Yes, they're, po- they're publishing a crossover book with the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles and Usagi Ojimbo. It is called... Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, Usagi Ojimbo, Where, When. And that is, um, yeah, it's under, I think, Stan Sakai's new imprint with Dark Horse, but it's also being co-published or published by Adidas. I don't know, it's very confusing, but if you're a fan of the Turtles and or the Samurai Rabbit himself, cool one to check out. Anyway, that is it for the FOC post today. Once again, I will remind you, Radiant Black, Slept On Book, Slept On Series, mark my damn words, that will become a series on Amazon or, well, probably Amazon because it seems Image is doing deals with them, but it'll be a series at some point in the future, I can almost guarantee it to you, it's just too big, it's got too much momentum, and I think a lot of folks locally here in Winnipeg are missing the boat on that one, so, there you have it. Toodaloo for now, everyone. See you later.